What's the approach with the gear? Just in general, we, you said something earlier about live versus studio. Things change? Things stay the same? For me, they stay the same as much as they can. Uh, when you're on a big tour, like with Priest, it's reliability more than anything. You know, you're out for, you know, six to eight weeks at a time. Yeah. You can't be breaking down in the middle of nowhere and you can't get stuff fixed or you can't get, a, you know, it's got to be reliable. Mm -hmm. um, other than that, it's, it's pretty much pedals on the floor yeah. through a switcher. Uh, it's making this as reliable as it can be for me. So I've got heads. Uh, I use one channel on the heads. Um, That's right, because we dialed you in to the, the Mark 7 there. It's got multi-channels. And yeah, I remember we were just like, you want to clean? You're like, no, man, let's just go straight for a good overdrive yeah. sound. So that means, are we doing stuff with the volume? Yeah. Like, are we rolling stuff back and all that? All the time. Cool. All, all cool. the cleans come from, you know, yeah. so you've got clean, semi-dirty, and then full on if you need it. And then if I do need it, there's a, there's a, a drive pedal on the floor there as well. Um, you know, as we spoke about before, I, I love the plexi thing, but the plexis are historically unreliable, and you know they they you have to run them full on all the time, and that's yeah. that's a lot. For you need another amp guy to take care of them. I think ACDC do the same. They've got a, a dedicated amp guy dedicated amp, should sure. look after it. You know, you well, know, especially when you're running stuff that hot. That's what I mean. Like it's like yeah, something's gonna go. They're gonna go know? down, and we we can't be having that. Otherwise, I'd have plexis out with me. But so we've got. Um, I mean, well, I'm using Wizard on the stage oh, great. and it's essentially um you know the front end of uh uh like a an 800 type yep. thing and the back end of like a, a major so it's, it's like a 150 watt power stage with the front end of a, like a marshally type sounding sure um, would you say that um the gear when you're playing with priest and then when you're doing um the stuff with elegant weapons would you say that the gear kind of stays the same Pretty much. So that's great because that's a huge bonus for someone that can keep their signature sound through multiple projects. Yeah. Right? It's that, all that's about a reliability, it really. Uh, if I could, I'd, I'd take the, the the plexis out for elegant weapons. I'd, I'd, you know, I love the plexi thing. It's yeah. unreliable. So we need to make it as reliable as possible. And also for me being as stripped down as possible. The guitar's the same. In, okay. in some respects, it's hot rodded. In other er, other respects, it's um, stripped down. So I add things to make it uh, do what I need it to do, and then take things away that I don't need. Right. Uh, you know. And I notice you've got the uh, the Floyd, of course. Yep. For the flexibility of, of for the soloing and all that. And that's when I run out of ideas. You know. Yeah. As we know. When in doubt, hit the bar. Floyd it out. Yeah. Um, but and you know, the I, I never use is is one volume control for for both pickups. Um, I took away the tone and the other volume. Didn't need, never used them. And this guy is your, this is your guitar that uh, Gibson made. So how long have you had this guitar for? I had this, they, this was the, the latest prototype that I've been using. I mean, I, I think this was last September. I've had this one since. Yeah, uh, got the EMGs. Yeah, but we've been working on this since pre-pandemic. Okay. On the, on the idea, but obviously then the pandemic hit. Uh, I wanted to get it out on the road, mm. road test it like we're talking about. I didn't want to put my name to something that wasn't road tested. There's no, there's no point in that to me whatsoever. We wanted another, uh, the next level of what we had before with the Epiphone. And it's based on the guitar I've been using with Priest for the last 12 years, which is a, a customized uh, uh, Flying V. Oh, okay. Um, yep. It's the next level of that. So signature EMGs in this one. Uh, it's Pelham Blue. Um, can, we, can we show, I just want to show this, the neck off here. Well, this always happens. Take a look at that. that. That's how you know the guitar has been played, right? This always happens. This, uh, you know, it, I don't know. I don't know why I just don't take the ring off. But it becomes, as I said before, about you know the, the weight of a guitar. You have to interact with it differently. This, for yeah. me, it it feels different, and I interact with it differently and this, different places. This tells me different. the story. This tells you what I need to know right here. Well, yeah, I, I play know? them. I play them. I said I, I've only had this since September. This was the last one in a chain of prototypes that we've had, and this is the one that we signed off on. Yeah, and, I, and I've had it ever since. Um, and it's just I don't know. It feels different with the paint when the paint comes off, and it comes off where you play it. Sure. So this is where you know it feels. It just feels right. You know.